You guys knew I was going to react to this. Being that my favorite band is Pantera, I wasn't overly excited about the prospect of them saying that this is Pantera without Dime and Vinny. People have their opinions. All I'll say about it is I'm glad people that never got to see Pantera can at least see Pantera songs played live with Phil singing them. Yeah. I mean, that's how I look at it. I mean, Rex is Rex, but let's just be real. At least Vin- half the band is there. Vinny and Dime were the foundation of Pantera. I mean, they really were. And Phil complimented it perfect. Yeah. Rex killed it on bass, but it was nothing to the point where his name comes up as Pantera near as often as you hear Phil, Vinny, and Dime. It's the normal bass, bassist, yeah. uh, whatever you want to call it. He's the bass player. He's the bass player. So it's just nice, in, in my opinion, that people that never got to witness Dime Live, which I have many times, and Vinny, they didn't get to see them live. It's a different show. It's the same music played roughly the same. It's just a different show because Dime was one of a kind. I mean, there's nothing more to say than that. But I want to check it out. Yeah. So, yeah, let's uh, check out this video we found online. It has the Dom Hollow opening with Cowboys. Which I'm, is my favorite freaking song, man. I'm good with all of it. So that's what we're about to check out. Let's do this. I don't know why they didn't have live recording. First Pantera show in 20 years and you didn't set up a equipment to do a, you know, from the, from the board. It's 
Most impressive one to me there was Charlie. Yeah, Charlie was killing me. I, mean, I didn't miss Vince, but I missed Dial. I like the uh Zachisms. Woo! Yeah, welcome to the BLS concert where it's an hour long solo. I mean, like I said, Vince guys, he's the the heart is there. The sentiment is there. I mean, I get that they're boys and that was maybe his best friend, but Wes Houck would have been. Mm. Well, they got some effects on Rex's face. Hard to miss this song though. That's the beauty of domination. It's not that hard a song to play, but it is brutal. With the best breakdown, challenge any breakdown, best breakdown ever created. Five 
minute guitar solo. Okay, calm down, Zach! <laughs> I said calm down! That's it, man. Man, we got another song to play! <laughs> Charlie, quit encouraging him! <laughs> stop! He's still going! <laughs> Quit hitting the symbols, Charlie! Make some noise! Damn. That was badass. Coming from someone who's never seen Pantera live like me, that was badass. <sighs> I mean, it brought back memories for me from going to the shows. I know that breakdown in Dom Hollow, Domination and Hollow, little hybrid they do. And the way they went from Domination to Hollow in, in this particular instance was different than what Vinny and Dom used to do. This, when it split off, sounded just like, what's that Ozzy song? Then why are you asking us for, asshole? <clears throat> That transition was Believer by Ozzy. That's exactly how Believer kind of comes into that one main riff, just the way I could tell the difference. Phil sounded good. I mean, Phil's in his 50s, so you got to give it to him. He sounded pretty good. Uh, overall, I liked it. Yeah. I'd go see it live. I just, I wouldn't call it Pantera because I do know better. And this isn't one of those situations where people are like, well, Alice and Chains are still touring without Lane Staley, and Metallica don't have Dave Mustaine anymore. Look, Pantera is like Van Halen. It was started by the brothers. That's just how it goes. Facts. I love Sepultura, but I don't think of the Derek Green Sepultura in the same way that I think of the Max Cavalera and Igor. Sepultura. Those are two different bands. You can name them two different things and they just have entrees to me. And they're still Sepultura. They won the name. Max did Soulfly. Blah, blah, blah. But it's still not Sepultura. The brothers started that. Igor and Max were Sepultura. And they brought in Andre Slade Rome, so he wasn't even an original member. You can think of it that way, but that's not Pantera. But I'm glad that they're still named Pantera if I would go because then I could say I've seen Pantera. That is literally the only reason why they just didn't make it some sort of tribute to That, me. I mean... That's a money. It's smart. Well, yeah, it feels like... That is some money, man. <laughs> it's been 20 years. we got to do this now. Man, that super joint ain't working out like I thought it would. And can't get down to get off their ass, so... <laughs> Let's just put the boys back together. Yeah. Get that money grab. Yeah. It but was good. It is what it is. But, yeah, enjoyed it, so... I would recommend going and seeing it live, even if you're like me and seen Pantera dozens of times in the past. Still go, because they're tributing one the of the greats. greatest guitarists ever walk our earth, and people underestimate Vinny. Vinny inspired so many drummers. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you listen to Joey Jordison talk about his idols and heroes, it was always Vinny Paul was up there. You could tell in his style it was unorthodox. Vinny was a little unorthodox. He wasn't the fastest drummer. He wasn't the most, I don't know, dexterous. Luke Holland hitting 12 things at one time like an octopus is back there. He wasn't that, <laughs> but his grooves with that crash and some of his offbeat double beat, you know, double bass time, it inspired a lot of really big drummers today. So Zach, on the other hand, didn't even bother to get 20 minutes into the, does it sound like the tuning's right? He didn't even bother with that. Tuning was a little off. He overused the wah and Overusing the Y on a Pantera song is tragic. Yeah. Because Dime loved that Y. Yeah, so no. if you're overusing it, buddy. You need to back up a little bit because I could just tell he was overdoing it. Heart but was there. Totally felt it. Still sounded good. Just didn't sound like what I'm used to with Dime. And I'll have to get over that. It's Zach. It's the Panthrax Society. That's an awesome name. I can't get over it. Yeah. They're going to headline here soon, and there'll be a two-hour show, and one hour of that will be Zach just Going shredding. Ham. <laughs> just shredding, and everybody else is like, okay. On to a new one. <laughs> this ain't a BLS show, dude. You can, you can calm it down a little bit. We got other songs. We got a catalog. But you tell us what you think. Get down into the comments. Let us know what your thoughts are on 
Pantera, The Reunion. I've heard them all. I don't really care if you agree with mine or not. It's just my way of looking at it. It's not Pantera, but I, I do appreciate them going out on tour, doing the money grab, even though, you know, they got to get paid. They earn, mm -hmm. Phil earned some money. I let him have it. But letting, you know, younger generations that didn't know Don get to see these songs live, I'm fine with that. And I think Don and Benny would probably be okay with that as well. Yeah. So there you go. They're probably up there rocking with them. <laughs> there you have it. That's like, share, subscribe, just do things. Do and until the next time, guys, as always, come at me, bro.